trout. Try to remember, you want to wet your hands. Cool. Yeah, I'll lift her. Two big guys here. Oh, huge bird. Oh, oh. Hopefully it didn't swallow it. Oh, nice one. There you go. That's a good one there. Yeah. Man. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another adventure of LT Outdoors. In this adventure, it is actually a week-long adventure where I think I fished every day or close to it anyway, but caught a lot of fish. Now, I do want to make mention, a lot of the fish that I caught in this video it was way too dark. That's part of why on last week's live, I said that I need to get a light. I have a light coming in a couple days. Once that light's here, game changer, I can start filming after dark and it won't look like crap. However, I threw a few dark videos on here of some really nice fish that were caught. Um, I wish I would have filmed my giant uh, kings because I have caught a couple of giant kings. You'll see pictures at the end, though, to see exactly what all was caught this week. And Rick catches some awesome fish. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy this video and hit that subscribe button. Ooh. Right by the dock, baby. Look at this. This is on a new lure, guys. This is on a I believe Walleye Nation calls this a shaky shad. Calm down, buddy. But he come up and it's just a little, just a little crankbait. That's a nice male. Again, that's on a new lure. It's called the Shaky Shad. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like a bigger fish. <laughs> ah, just a fighter. Looks like a cleaner one though. Yeah, that's a fresher fish there. spinner the only complaint I've had so far with these is that they bend they bend really easy which yeah you can unbend them but this might be a walleye it's not fighting like a salmon Big one too. Oh, no, lost it. God dang.
two that were this size or bigger. That's freaking nuts. Right after Rick left, too. Alright, that's a good night right there, folks. Got a big walleye and a big, beautiful, clean coho. Darn right. Yeah, look at that, guys. Kind of mad at myself. Camera wasn't going, but just got a nice little uh, player tag. Ooh, there we go. God, that didn't take long at all. Now I don't have a net. Gorgeous fish. Awesome. Well, I did some uh, little bit of research because it was bugging me. When I caught this fish, I seen all the these pretty colors on the gill, gill plate here, guys. And I didn't think that was a coho or a chinook from that. And sure enough, it's actually an Atlantic salmon. They are delicious, and I knew they were running. So, yeah, maybe we can get some more. GoPro stop record. <laughs> oh, putting on a show. They'll come close too. I had some swimming right in the weeds I'd see last night. Oh, that's gonna look. Oh my god, this freaked me out. I did not see him coming. <laughs> Hi, Quackers! Wank, wank, wank. Coming right. I just hope I looked up and they were right. <laughs> yeah, there's two up there again. Oh, yeah. It's crazy they do this all night. You got it? Oh man, that's a big fish. Yep, lights come on. It's prime time, man. Wow. on camera at least <laughs> don't want to screw up this one oh yeah I can see was that on that same Cleo the green, lime green one. looks like a big fish that ain't him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Going to the other bridge. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I think these fish have more power too than the ones we've been messing with because the fact that they're in the river. 
because I noticed that yesterday the fish were way more powerful. I'm gonna guess about 30 yards. Is he? Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is your about time your arm gets wore out. <laughs> he ate it. Yep. Yep. Perfect, man. That's a big old king there. <laughs> That's about the size of those ones I got in the other spot. Yeah, oh yeah, he smoked it. Yep, can't get any better than that. I figured when he made that jump, I was looking and I couldn't see it. And usually they jump weird if they're... Here, I'll hold his mouth open if you want to. I'll try and get it quick. Yeah, dang, dude. That's a freaking awesome fish. Your biggest of the year. Again? You're kidding me. That's so cool, man. I, just, first I know, I told you, it's that time, man. I've had a lot of hits, I just can't hook them. It's something about the... As soon as the lights come on. Chartreuse and silver. Oh, man. No running at you. Yeah, that'll get you every time. Oh my god, it's another giant king, man. <laughs> that is so cool. Yep, smoked it again, man. That hook's buried. You can't beat that. And have good, definitely nice meat. Yep. Thanks. Welcome. Now it's not all tangled. right there might be a oh it's a walleye dude big walleye oh I'm sure I wish those kids would stop that oh no the one hook came out No, no, no. Oh. There. That's a beast. Wow. Dude, that might that might be my 27. It's gonna be close. I'm the bandit, buddy. I wanted to try it out. Yeah, because they it wasn't jumping or nothing like this one. Wow. That's an amazing fish. I am honored to catch that. I just bought this bandit today, guys. I wanted one with chrome and something that wouldn't hit the bottom so hard. And that was only like the 
fifth cast with it. What a monster. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> yep. I'm trying it today with eight pound test. I don't think, oh, he came off. I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> uh. I can't, I can't be stuck all winter long at home not being able to film. That's what I was throwing in the day. Yeah, that's a clean, fresh fish right there. I can get her. hook come right out too. Nice. There we go. Yep. Oh, he got off. Uh, I knew it. If you guys enjoy my panty pounders and pig pounders, you're not going to want to miss out, guys. I am having a closeout sale on my website. I'm trying to sell off all the old stock so I can make room for all the brand new ones that I'm bringing in. So all of the panty pounders and pig pounders right now are 50% off. That's right. I'm not making much on them, but I can get them in your hands for pretty dang cheap. The pig pounders right now are $1.50. Panty pounders are $1.25. Don't miss out on this deal. Get them while they last because this will be the last of these ones right here and the other colors that go with these. But I also have my brand new ones on there right now. There are 20 new colors of this new plastic made by Brains Baits. It has a paddle tail, 3-inch worm, quarter-inch BB 
I mean, this thing is made up with the best of both worlds from Pig Pounder and Panty Pounder. So you can also get them now. Go to www.ltoutdoorslureco.com. Get yours today. Big shout out to my monthly patrons. Thank you guys so much for signing up to Patreon. Sign up today, guys. You can sign up for as low as a dollar a month, and it helps out a whole lot. Want to know where you can go to get a good deal on some waterfowl loads? It's not easy to find. If you duck hunt like me, you know that most of the time they cost a lot of money. But here at Mark's Guns and Equipment in Oscoda, Michigan, he's got some great deals. Come check this out. Like I said, guys, if you're looking for a deal on some waterfowl loads, you cannot beat this right here. I don't care where you go in the state of Michigan, it's hard to find deals like this. So, And obviously he's got bulk amounts of stuff too. It's also hard to find that. Most places don't have very much. So if you're looking for waterfowl loads, check out Mark's Guns and Equipment. I will post his website information or his address down below. Check him out. This season at LT Outdoors has been brought to you by Freedom Baits. Go to freedombaits.com and use discount code LT Outdoors gets you 10% off. Also, Widowmaker Lures. My favorite lures are on this website. Go to widowmakerlures.com, use discount code LT Outdoors gets 10% off. Stone Tackle. Make sure you go to stonetackle.com and check out the awesome jig boxes. They've got boxes that'll hold all of your jigs in one box. And use discount code LT Outdoors gets you 15% off. And Hizia.com. Check out Hizia for a great line of outdoor footwear. Use discount code LT15 gets you 15% off. And if you're looking to get LT Outdoor lures, you can visit these wonderful locations.